So here's the best NVIDIA control panel settings for your computer here. So the first thing you'll do is open up NVIDIA control panel. You'll just search it up right here. Then you'll go to manage 3D settings here. And then after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna pr press power management mode. You're gonna turn it to prefer maximum performance. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press shader cache size. You're gonna change that to 100 gigabytes. And then the last thing you're gonna do is basically go to texture filtering quality and change that to high performance there. And then you're gonna press apply and press yes. Next thing is you're gonna go to change resolution here. And essentially you're gonna find a monitor that you have and you're gonna make sure that your resolution is actually what your monitor intended it to be. I recommend guys that you use a display cable over a HDMI cable, especially if you're running a high top tier gaming PC, you definitely want a display cable in your graphics card here. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you actually have your display cable into your GPU and not your motherboard here. So as you could see right here, this is the motherboard. This is the graphics card down here. You want your display connected to this graphics card, not this motherboard here. I see it time and time again that people connect it to the motherboard and you're losing a dramatic amount of FPS here. So make sure you have it connected to your graphics card here. Now back to the NVIDIA control panel setting. So you wanna make sure that you have the max refresh rate and you get that with a display cable there and you can go to set up G-Sync. So this is actually a personal preference guys. So if you want the lowest input latency possible, you want G-Sync off. That means that you wanna see your enemy as fast as they could see you or even quicker. Now, if you want just like a smooth game in general, smoothness over actual input latency, then you want to enable G-Sync and you should be good and check mark that. Last thing, if you wanna add some colors, you would find your monitor here and I would kind of customize your digital vibrance here. That'll actually change how your game looks dramatically and make sure that your game is looking the best possible while you're getting the most performance possible here. And if you have any other questions, you can always visit sensequality.com. We'll take care of you just like we take care of the pros. Take care and make sure you share this with a friend.